Hey everybody, welcome in if this is your first video with me. Welcome back if it is not. Either way, I am so excited that you're here. I'm so grateful you have decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. So today we are going to do another mouse merch unboxing. You guys may remember I did one of these in July. And so this is my second box in the subscription. And so I'm gonna unbox it for you today and we're gonna talk all about it. So if you're ready to open it, then let's just get started. My name is Rachel and this is Attainable Disney. Okay guys, so like I said, this is my second subscription box or my second box in my subscription to Mouse Merch box. I did already open it, so let me show you what's inside and then we'll talk all about it. The last few subscription boxes that I have done, I've sort of done this way and that I've opened them sort of off camera or like before the video, collected my sort of thoughts and then filmed the video. This works for me because if I wanna do a quality review, I feel like I need time, if that makes sense. I need to sort of collect my thoughts and I don't want to, I don't want to give you that sort of immediate reaction, right? Like I wanna actually like think about how I feel before I just react on video, if that makes sense. But I know most people, when they do their unboxings, like it's live, like open the box and like, it's a surprise right then. So I know that I'm doing it a little bit differently, but I guess for my purposes, I'm trying to do a review as opposed to just like, look at all this stuff I got. I don't know, so you guys let me know what you think. But full disclosure, I've opened this box and I already know what's in here. So the first item in the box was the crisp rice treat. So the chocolate dipped yummy rice krispies treat uh, straight from the Disney parks. Um, the next item is this black a uh, sequins keychain, I guess. Yeah. So it's just um like a plain Mickey head. Uh, it's all sequins. I guess it's yeah, it's that like you know, you can you can flip it kind of whatever. Right? It could be silver or black. Um at first I thought it was like maybe like a little change purse or something, but it's not, it's just plain flat Mickey head keychain. Um, then the third item is a patched, uh, I get on patch, rainbow Mickey head. So I guess these are, I, I've never really used one of these before, but I guess they're like sort of sticky and you can like remove them or like sew it to be permanent. I don't know. And the last item in the box, I don't know if the camera's even gonna be able to really focus on this. I may just have to like put in like a, a still photo, but it's a, I don't, I, maybe it's a keychain. I don't, maybe it's just like a, like a tchotchke. So it's like a little key. I don't know, like a little keychain kind of thing. And it's got a little Pirates of the Caribbean head. Yeah, see? A little pirate skull. Yeah, I don't, I guess it's a, I guess it's a keychain. That's what I would call it. I don't really know. It just came in like a plastic sleeve, so it doesn't really say what it is. Let me just say first, um, is that I'm, I don't particularly care for these items. I mean, I mean, the Rice Krispies treat is great. The Mickey head keychain is like cute or whatever. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Definitely too big for like every day, like all my like car keys or whatever, but it's cute. Nothing, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the patch and I definitely don't know what I'm, definitely, definitely don't know what I'm gonna do with the Pirates of the Caribbean key thing. Um, so definitely let down by the items in here, especially in contrast to the first box. So if you remember the first box was like spot on with the preferences. I got like Loki, I got 
Nebula, there was Maleficent, there was Princess Anna, right? Like it was spot on with the preferences. Um, and then this box just feels completely random. Now, I wanna be clear that on the mouse merch, there is no clear like preferences situation, right? Like there's no like preferences form to fill out, but they did tell me to put my preferences in the little like box at checkout. And they did follow that for the first one. So I don't know if that maybe got lost in the second one or if like that was just like a courtesy for the first one. I don't really know. I don't really know. This box was $20 plus $7.88 shipping. Yeah, so definitely not impressed with the items in the box, okay? Here's my other concern. This is going to sound like a very familiar story. So the first box, um, if you guys remember, I mentioned this in the first video, I was so impressed with how like fast it shipped, right? I ordered it on the 16th of July, it shipped on the 17th of July and was here on the 20th of July. So it's a monthly subscription. So I anticipated that it would be shipped around the middle of August, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, right? Like somewhere around the middle of August. On the 23rd of August, when I still hadn't gotten any kind of email or anything like that, I sent them a instant message like on their website, like on the little chat feature and was just like, like, hey, just following up on my box, like would have expected it to ship by now. Can you tell me what's up? And they said, oh, it's shipping today. So I said, okay, great, no big deal. I got an email on the 23rd of August with the tracking number. Perfect, okay, fine. What a coincidence that the day that I am um, like annoyed and the day I reach out a week after it should have been shipped is the day that you were shipping it. Like what are the odds? But it's fun. So the 23rd I reached out via chat and said, where's my box? They said it's shipping today and I got an email with a shipping number. Fine. August 31st, so more than a week later, I sent them another email because the tracking still hadn't moved. So they had created a label, sent me a tracking number, but the postal service did not have the box. So they hadn't actually shipped the box. The 31st of August. I did not receive a response to that email, but magically the box ended up in the hands of USPS and the box arrived here at my home on September 2nd. It arrived, we'll say, two-ish, two and a half weeks late, which doesn't sound like a huge deal, but when the box comes every four weeks and you're two and a half weeks late, like, <laughs> we're already close to the next time. Like, I mean, just that just doesn't make like a ton of sense to me. I don't get it. I don't know. And you know, this is, this is not new. This is something that lots of people have talked about with like lots of different companies. I have experienced this with just, I think every single subscription box company. I don't, are my expectations wrong? Like, am I, am I expecting too much in that I want a monthly box to be shipped at a monthly interval, right? Like you, you managed to charge me every four weeks. Why can you not put stuff in the box and send it to me every four weeks? I don't know. Um, of note, the Rice Krispie Treat or Crisped Rice Treat expires on September 2nd, also the day that it arrived. Am I going to eat it anyway? Absolutely. YOLO. I don't know. That's basically where I'm at with this. Um, the first box was A+. Plus. This box is like a D-. minus. This box sucks. This box sucks. The logistics of getting the box sucked. The communication sucked. I'm going to stick with it for one more month. And so, because when I'm doing a review of a subscription service, I feel like you need 
a few months, right? I mean, I feel like three months is an appropriate amount of time to have a full picture of what happens, right? So if the first box was really awesome and the second box really sucks, I don't know, maybe one of those things was a fluke and a third box is gonna be like a tiebreaker to help us figure that out maybe, I don't know. So even though this one sucked, I'm gonna stick with it for one more month. Um, not necessarily because like I want to, I think if it wasn't for the purposes of doing a, a robust review and if it wasn't for the purposes of of having a, a full review for my channel, I probably wouldn't do another month, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so um, Mouse March Box will be linked below for your convenience should you choose to try it. So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have the, like, have you subscribed to this box? Are you thinking about subscribing to this box? Do you know anybody who does? I don't know. Am I being, am I being a Karen about the shipping time thing? I don't know, like, it just seems unreasonable that if there's like a four week shipping interval that something's gonna be two and a half weeks late, right? Like it's only four weeks. Two and a half weeks late within four weeks just seems excessive to me, right? I don't know, but some of these subscription companies are starting to make me think that like my expectations are unreasonable because like they literally like cannot meet them. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's where I'm at. We'll see in another two weeks. Theoretically, I'll get my next one. It'll probably be more like four weeks or six weeks. I don't know. We're just gonna roll the dice and see what happens. But yeah, so thanks guys for joining me. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I would love to, to talk about it. Um, this experience is like so vastly different than the last one. I definitely want to talk about it and see what you guys think. So let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.